Hi there, it's me, Mr. Bizey, and today we're going to look at Jabba the Hutt specifically. I've been doing a lot of stuff featured around Jabba with the palace that I built, uh, with the barge recently. I figured, let's look at all the different Jabbas that have come out through the years. All the way from the vintage Kenner in 1983 to the Jabba that came with the barge this year in 2019. So there's been a few Jabbas over the years of different uh, values here, but we're going to start with the original, the vintage Jabba the Hutt. So this is the vintage Jabba the Hutt. It came just like this. It was called a playset. It came with Jabba himself, salacious crumb, as well as his throne, his hookah, and a little piece that he rests his arm on. And you see mine's got some uh, deterioration, I guess, if you want to call it, from over the years, as I got this way back in 1983. Uh, this is my childhood Jabba. I've had him uh, forever. I always liked that he, I didn't know what a hookah was as a kid. I just, it was a pipe. Put it in his mouth. In the 80s, it made sense. Um, but yeah, it does come with Salacious Crown. It's an unposable figure. I think it's Entertainment Earth has been operating, offering these and the hookah, like in sealed baggies for really cheap, which I need to get a new hookah because I didn't realize this for the longest time. But if you look at this hole right here, there's supposed to be another part that comes up. And somewhere along the way, I lost that. Jabba himself, if you move his head, his tail wiggles. You can move his arms back and forth, of course. Kind of look underneath for the giant slug here and the back of his head. His throne was the dungeon as well. Kind of looks like the squares in front of his um, throne. Kind of a unique design underneath. It's supposed to be kind of the rancor pit. You can see myself as a child colored in here. A little red and black outlining the rats and the skeletons and stuff like that that were in there. Um, oh, that was pretty cool. And you can actually, I did that wrong. You can twist these and open them up to get that in there. Uh, it also came with the ch uh, collar chain for Leia, I suppose, or any slave, uh, even though there was no slave Leia <laughs> at the time. But, you know, it was an all-in-one. You got everything in this, which was pretty cool. Just kind of a basic base here. I loved this as a kid. When I first oops, pulled out my Star Wars stuff um, again in the early 90s, uh, this was the early things I pulled out, and I set up a little Jabba's Palace thing uh, with all my with all the figures that belonged, and I really enjoyed that. Next up is the special edition Jabba, which is facing forward as it was a movie. This is probably one of the worst Jabba's. He does have the feature where you turn his head and his tail moves back and forth. Same articulation and everything, so he can sit there and talk to Han. His eyes, it's really hard to see. They have... Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, there we go. So they're, they're inset in there to like follow you. The original Jabba has that as well, only it's a little different with that. Um, nothing too special. It did come with a Han Solo figure, but I'm just covering Jabba's right now. Let's see the underneath on him. So next we have the episode one Jabba Glob. Um, this was not sold in toy aisles necessarily, but was in kind of the craft aisle. This was done at episode one time. You see his mouth kind of opens and there's a reason why. So, with him, you can actually pull his head up. Ugh, it's still the same stuff here. Oh boy, it's a little oily. Um, so it came with this thing of Jabba Glob play gel. It's, it feels kind of empty. Is it? It was basically like the slime stuff, and I think I pulled it out. No. And it came with the little frogs that he eats and stuff in there, plastic frogs. And this is 20 years old, so it's not in the best shape. Um, I'll need to wash my hands after this. But obviously you can rotate him uh, back and forth and his arms move as well. I'll also note is he's got a very um, squishy structure. More like the Jurassic Park dinos kind of thing. This is the first one that kind of did that. Uh, we'll see more of that, though. Next, we have a very specific episode one Java. Specific as in, it comes with this little piece. He came with the two-headed announcer as well. And it came with, comes with the fish thingy here. You see its head in its mouth. And if you push down his arm, he fires it out of his mouth. Which, you know, seems like a neat idea, but... And you can actually put the fish head back on the fish. But... Jabba looks terrible that way. <laughs> Why would you ever want to put Jabba this way? So you always have the fish head in his mouth. So he can spit it out and start the pod races um, by hitting the gong. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see. Oh, I missed. He spits pretty far there. 
Um, he has the, the squishy skin. You can hear the air being pushed out. It's got a couple holes here on the bottom. Um, you know, if it wasn't for this uh, action feature, this would probably be a much better job of, but it just looks kind of dumb. I mean, the detailing on it's pretty good, but just having that fish head in his mouth is really silly. Our next Jabba came in 2004, and he is reusing the mold from Jabba Glob, but as a real action figure this time. Um, you see he has a tongue. It's actually a removable tongue. Um, I think it's the only Jabba with his tongue actually sticking out of his mouth. He came with a frog dude um, that he could hold in his hand after, let's see, it's 2004, so 15 years. This finally came unraveled, but he can, he can hold the frog in his hand there. Um... It is, like I said, the same mold as the Java Glob. It's a thicker plastic. It's not quite as squishy as uh, Java Glob was. He also came with the hookah setup, the little piece that goes around him, and the hookah pipe, and all that to make it a play environment. Next, we have Clone Wars Jabba, which I think most of us have wished they'd taken this mold and made a, a zero the hut out of it. He has an action feature as well. You can move his arm and his Mouth will go up and down. The second figure with a tongue, not sticking out of his mouth, but um, he also has extra articulations. The first Jabba with our, uh, elbow articulation, I guess you call it. He can move his head back and forth as well. He's uh, kind of squishy, not as squishy as some of the others, but not as hard as the last one. You can see uh, his eyes and what his mouth looks like. Um, you know, it's an okay figure. He's got really tiny hands. None of the other Jabbas have those tiny hands. You notice. Um, prequel Jabba's and A New Hope Jabba have four fingers on each hand, and uh, Jedi Jabba's have um, three fingers. Uh, if you check out a later video I'm going to do actually about the films, I'll, I'll go through that because there's something actually to that. So this is Clone Wars Jabba. He came with a droid, if I remember correctly, as well as the hookah and all that. The next Jabba may well be the best Jabba just for everything it comes with. It came with a new fully articulated Ula which uh, unfortunately her thong string has uh, come off, so it's kind of falling off a little bit. But it's a really nice Ula figure to update that old, uh, I think it's a fan club exclusive one we got. You see she has the slave collar on her. Uh, it comes with a salacious crumb, and it comes with all these pillows and uh, this little blanket. Stuff we've never had before, and it's got room that you can put the reclining slave Leia on there. He's got the hookah set up that I had talked about with some of the previous figures. Jabba himself looks really good, but he's a very squishy plastic, and it feels like it could deteriorate easily over time. I think I've heard some horror stories about that. His tail is bendable, so it's kind of a bendum. He does have the elbow articulation. One of the things we get for the first time is that tattoo on his arm as well. Um, mouth looks like it could open, but it doesn't. The head is more of a solid plastic, just the body is a squishy plastic. Uh, I like this Jabba the best. Um, I think he displays the best. Uh, the throne, obviously, is a big help, and it's got all the little heads on the front, just like the vintage, but then it has them on the side as well, which is a nice extra piece because that's the way Jabba was. Um, this is the one I'll be displaying in my Jabba's palace. Uh, all in all, it's the, it's the full kit. Next up is the three and three quarter inch black series figure. This one um, came in the Rancor Pit diorama set, I guess you'd call it. It was just all cardboard, came with the giant Rancor, re-release of that Target Rancor, and a whole bunch of figures. Um, it kind of looks like a scaled down six inch version. The six inch version had come out at that point. Um, you can see he's got the fully articulated arms here. He sits a little higher. If you compare the two, his head goes a little bit higher than the uh, Shadows of the Dark Side Squishy Jabba. You can see his face there. He's got, you know, just the standard uh, head articulation. Not much more than that, you know, the arms and that. Not a whole lot more you could do with Jabba, really. And finally is the Barge Jabba, which is that Black Series Jabba, just repainted. His eyes look really weird. Um, you know, if you compare, he comes in here. The, the, that's the Black Series one. You can see his eyes have more paint in them. Um, this was supposed to have the new face scan technology. It doesn't. Um, at least it doesn't appear to. It, the face looks very wet, which is nice. That's a cool addition. But um, on that, just a slight repaint of that Black Series one. Nothing too special on him. And that's all of the three and three quarter inch job of the Huts. 
So I hope you enjoyed this look at Jabba the Hutt. It's kind of interesting to see all the different versions. Yes, it's kind of disgusting that my Jabba glob still has the glob in there, but it's kind of still okay, I guess. I don't know. It's 20 years old. I can't believe I still have that, but it's still there. I um, hope you enjoyed the look here. Uh, next, in a couple days here, actually, I'm going to be putting together a little look at Jabba the Hutt's fingers. It sounds strange, but a couple of us have noticed that uh, Jabba changes the number of fingers that he has on his hands through the different movies. So I thought I'd go through that so you can see all of that. And next week, we'll take a look at the Rancors. Uh, if you're interested in checking out more and keeping up with what I do, you can subscribe by clicking right here. And go ahead and check out my other videos for lots of different reviews and all sorts of different other things. So thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your collecting.